All right, greetings family, Bomani Taimba here. I want to welcome all my brothers and sisters for joining us on this wonderful Tanzania Journey of a Lifetime Roots and Culture Tour, November 18th, departure in November 29th day as our return when we get back to the snakes of America. Uh, yes, family, uh, we're here in Tanzania and it's a great journey and we're just happy to be away to this, really this, uh, get away from a lot of this, the drama and the stress. And uh, the traveling is no joke. It's what it is, family. I must be honest with you. Uh, from COVID tests to paying for this, doing that. But one thing I'll always say to everyone, you, know, you follow my directions, you follow my lead, you're in good hands because we are celebrating 15 years of doing these wonderful journeys of a lifetime to connect our brothers and sisters from the African continent um, and from the African diaspora to the African continent. Uh, that way, family, we can just, you know, come together strong and do some wonderful things together. So it's roots and culture, but it's also a lot of networking. We want to connect people together where they can work together and connect. And some of our brothers and sisters have been on other journeys with me, and they love it so nice, they decide to do it twice in different countries and things like that. Uh, this book right here represents what we put together in a preparation format. It's also a digital book that's on our website, Africa for the Africans.org. And, and everything that we have is basically on the main menu from the tour schedule, the tour details to the preparation. Uh, it's a lot of information, but you want to just take your time and then look through it because being prepared is more important than many other things. Sometimes you see some of these people that go on journeys and they show you a little flyer and then you go look up online, you don't see no details. That's not us. What we do is in detail, you know, it's kind of like an organized military logistics operation. You know, I'm former naval aircraft technician, you know, uh, representing, you know, at one point, the world's finest uh, Navy where they literally just educate us how to just handle things. And I really appreciate that education because it ben benefit us uh, now when we're doing these kind of journeys. Uh, so I'm always telling my brothers and sisters, uh, well, we live in places like America and Europe, Take advantage of the opportunities to learn, to gain knowledge, to connect with the conscious people in that the era. Because once we come to Africa, we can actually have something to connect and contribute along with our brothers and sisters. So this is my good brother, Mali. Mali. And he's going to introduce himself as our tour guide and his good brother, uh, Eugene. They both work together in this beautiful company that uh, we've been connecting with them from day one. So we're all building a foundation together. And you know, when I talk about brothers and sisters working together, that's us right here. When we talk about black hotels, it's Kibo Palace uh, owned by our brothers and sisters from Tanzania. Kibo Palace, is that a black owned hotel? Yeah, yeah it's owned by uh, our fellow Tanzanian. He's by tribe Changa from Kilimanjaro. And then, yeah. Aman, then Aman uh, Bungalows or Aman Resort. Same situation? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so family, so there goes that. Uh, the third one is the Marriott. Uh, so you know, I'm showing love also to uh, the, the, the American Corporation. Uh, but uh, what we're showing people is like the fact that when we put our money together now, people build hotels. We want to show them love and support. Just like when we build, just like we're building a community in Ghana. And I'm just so appreciative of all our brothers and sisters showing us love at the Black Star Pan African Community there in Jahadi. And I appreciate my sister Talia and also Sanika for coming here in December of 2019 to literally, literally to see what we're building and things like that. So uh, it's all connected family. Uh, so Brother Mali, uh, share with our brothers and sisters and get a nice welcome on what we're gonna be doing for them for this wonderful uh, nine day journey. So welcome to Tanzania. I'm Mali, the brother of Eugene, and also Bomani, my brother. Uh, you welcome to Tanzania. You're welcome to enjoy this part of the world. It's uh, not very famous country, but with a lot of wonderful, wonderful things. Last year we went to Arusha National Park. We have been to Arusha Town. We went to Zanzibar, and we're doing almost the same route to, 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 to finish our tour. But the important part is that you are in Tanzania, and we'll do our best, me and Eugene to make sure that you enjoy your time here in Tanzania. If you can walk, and then your footsteps can be recorded, and you try to measure the footsteps that you have been, your pass, it will never be the same. Sometimes, it's a little bit shorter, and sometimes a little bit longer. What do I mean? 
when you are here please if anything goes not in a way you was expecting it to be it's just a human error mm. it's nothing to do with our carelessness we have tried our best to make sure everything goes well but you are our brothers and sisters we hope that anytime you will not hesitate to talk to us to got it anything to go well tomorrow we'll be in arusha we'll be visiting some interesting part of arusha the colonial buildings history have lunch and always we go to where our fellow africans are we don't take you to what we call them mzungu yeah, because uh, as a matter of fact, you were telling me that uh, sometimes we have Germans who come from Germany, but what they'll do is, yeah, okay, perfect, you're about to share that, so yeah. So we'll take you to where, yeah, about to say where we, we normally go to our fellow Africans. Myself, I speak German, and it's my language that I use for work. I speak a little bit of English, I also use it for work. Uh, when I travel with Americans, Americans, not African Americans. They will also demand to go to the Americans' restaurants. I work with Germans. When they come here, they will say always, let's go to the Myers restaurants, Wolfgang restaurants, because it's their touch, it's their way of life, it's what they enjoy. And I hope when you are here, you will enjoy our African restaurants, our African cuisine. And uh, it sometimes is something that you've never had before so do not hesitate to ask and if it doesn't go your way do not worry do not hesitate to do something else but the important thing is that you are now in Africa and there are things that you will never see in America that you can see here and that's why you are here um, I have been reading the this book online it's doing a lot of things in other parts of Africa and I really appreciate what you're doing Africans for Afri Africa for Africans I hope at the end of this tour when you go back home where you live you'll not be gone forever mm -hmm. it's just your beginning of coming back to Africa mm -hmm. during the tour there are things that it looks like to be very very normal to me and I'll just take it easy. Please, if there's something very interesting to you, let me know. I will ask our driver to stop or take time to do it. And during the free times, like when we have leisure days, that's the time you have to fulfill what you cannot do when we're in the group. Traveling in a group has got its own way. If it happens like the group wants to do something that is not your interest that is the way the family is supposed to be sometimes you don't eat on the table because you want to sit and eat on the table you sit on the table and eat because it's what the family is doing mm -hmm. you sometimes don't want to sing a happy birthday song to somebody but you will sing it because somebody is part of your family so when we are in a group like this you don't want to wake up early in the morning what is the way the family is supposed to be? So you will wake up early in the morning and you will be positive and happy because the family is doing it. There's a lot of things that we will be talking about and learning and I will also watch out what you record it <laughs> because I have uh, had a lot of calls from the previous uh, <laughs> YouTube. Uh, I have people in America calling me, is this you? I say, yes, it's me. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're doing a phenomenal job. I mean, uh, 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 I just say straight, yes, it's me. Oh, some good work, you were saying, they say, yeah, that's the reality. Yeah, everything that you and I have said was yeah. in perspective and so, historical. There's a lot of things we'll be learning during the tour. We'll learn. um, I will try to remember the story I tell about the, the, the brother from Zambia. If I'll tell it again because it's one of the things that people try to call me say it's not you and I say it's me so please welcome to Tanzania enjoy your time in Tanzania once again my name is Male M -A -E -W -L -E -Y. it doesn't have R like the book Male uh, during the tour please if the 
is something that doesn't really sound the way you pronounce and you don't get it because I'm pronouncing it wrongly or in a different way, let me know so that I can elaborate what the, why, do I mean. There is a hand, hand, it's the same thing. Thank you. Let me uh, continue with you. Let me continue. I mean, I think I say right here with me while well, we just go through a few things. But you can squeeze in here with me. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do is talk about the, uh, the schedule as we have it written in the book. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, it shows that we leave at 9 o'clock. So what I'm asking everyone to do is that everyone could be ready about 8.30 in the morning. And if uh, Mali, if you can get the driver to be ready about 8.30 in the morning. And then we just get ready. That way we can just move out a little early. What we're looking to do is uh, go to the culture center. Um, and get that taken care of early and just um, make our way to the museums and make our way around the city tour. It's Saturday, so I don't know how busy uh, the Saturday is going to be. Morning is busy, the afternoon is not very busy. Uh, and then Sunday we have this beautiful uh, national park. Uh, around the same time it's good, right? 9 o'clock? Yes. Yeah. So this, um, so this be ready. Uh, by 7 o'clock the breakfast is usually ready at the hotel. Uh, so work it as best as you need. Uh, set your alarm clock so wake up and Work the international times and everything. Um, the phones, like right now, my phone is still showing. It's showing my phone. Everything's showing weird times. Uh, so just make sure that once you get settled, you take care of that that way. But um, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is just look out for anybody tomorrow who may not be, you know, that may just maybe off on time and try to go get you guys up. So you may see us come around like eight o'clock to check to see if people are up and banging on your door. We try not to bang like the police, but sometimes that's the only way we can wake people up. Uh, so, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll do that. So, these are two full days, the Saturday and the Sunday. And as my brother talked about, we have some nice things, nice restaurants and places that we're going to go eat because that's what we do. We support our own culture, whether it's J Jamaicans, Ethiopians, or just uh, any African nationals or Africans in the diaspora. Uh, it's, uh, so, that way you get a little unique flavor. Last time I think we went to one Jamaican restaurant, two Ethiopian restaurant. Uh, Andrew's was nice. That's, that was a local Tanzanian restaurant. Yes. Uh, so we're still going to do some of those because Ethiopian it was a nice restaurant. experience. Yeah. And, uh, tomorrow we start in the morning at 8.30 because the museum will close at 1. So it's a weekend. So we have to be yeah. punctual. Yeah, and if we, just, if we make some more adjustments in the morning, it's still the same thing that we're going to do that you see for tomorrow. It's just a lot of times we just have to move things around based on logistics. And that's why we always put things may be adjusted for uh, uh, logistics efficiency. So uh, you can't really look at anything that's on a schedule for a day in order. But everything that we have on each schedule for each day, the goal is to get it completed. Uh, now on Monday, last time you did a beautiful walking tour, unfortunately I wasn't able to make it because I was working on something else to get us ready to go to the airport. But uh, everyone that went there, like literally 100% even told me that they love it. And I was like, I felt bad, I was like, I missed out. I uh, definitely want to, us to do a nice little walking tour. It doesn't have to be too long, but we're right there by Kibo Palace, which is in the, in the you know, once you start walking, you'll be able to see the, the Rusha, the general life of business and day-to-day -day life on Monday. The biggest thing I want to let everyone know, Tuesday, uh, we, have had, we had to get an early flight from Kilimanjaro. That way we can get to Zanzibar Island early. Uh, so what I mean early, we're going to need to do a 4 o'clock wake-up call. I have it in the book as 4.15 and then want everybody to physically check out by 4.45 and by then the bags will be already been packed and then we can leave at 5. And then get back to this airport at 6 o'clock uh, in the morning and uh, be ready for a 7.40 departure flight. Uh, we can get away and we get there at 6 o'clock because the more it's an early flight, small airport, and then all of us have printed out our, into our domestic ticket, right? So yes, everybody, even if you didn't. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, so, and if you really didn't print it out, then you can print it out at the hotel in the next few days. Okay. That way, once we get back to the uh, airport, everybody has their stuff organized, ready. And then if you have two bags, be prepared to pay for those two bags. Pay for one. Uh, so pay for the one bag, uh, one, one check bag is included. Uh, it's a domestic flight on a small aircraft. Uh, so it's another way out, you know, basically companies make their money. And it's not, it's not, um, it's not a secret we're saying, this is what they do. Uh, and things like that. So this, that's the schedule for the next uh, few days and just want to make sure everybody is clear on it. It's in the book written to a T and also you can download the digital version I sent in PDF or request a PDF. Request for me to send it to your, your WhatsApp directly but it's in the group page and you can just always just use that. Sometimes it's more, more convenient. 
and then we have the printed version just to, you know, just to, to show love to our, our brothers and sisters there at the West End Print Shop in Atlanta, you know, keeping us strong. They, they, they printed my first book uh, in 2007, and I've been going to them over the years for many different things. So about 80, about 90% of the stuff that were printed came from the West End Print Shop. That's another black owned um, company, and our, the reason I appreciate them so much is because when I look at the, the people they hire, it's usually, like most of the employees, it look like they're between 18 to 25. You know, I'm all about the, you know, our generation. And the, the owner is, you know, one season is in his 50s, and I just, you know, it's beautiful. So everything I, we're gonna talk about is always gonna to support that energy. I, I wouldn't feel right waking up if I don't put that down in effort for us to do things together because I know the reality of the world that we live in. Our brothers here, they're here and they'll tell you about, you know, you're gonna see many different people and foreigners owning things. Just like if you go into Jamaica, you see Indians own things. And all those stuff, honestly, it makes me sick to my stomach because we, should, we, should, we need to do better. And I, you know, I got 11 year old child here. And, you know, you, you, we have to make sure that we have things in place for our children. I told them that I don't want them applying to no, no companies for any position. We have three companies already. Help us build the companies and, and you know create opportunities for other people. So everything what we're talking about is to that link and being organized, structured, and doing things at a high level. Uh, so just want to find out from anyone if anyone have any questions about the schedule um, or anything you want to ask. You want to ask uh, myself, Molly, or Eugene. As far as uh, phones or anything that you need, uh, SIM cards, can we get people SIM cards tomorrow or something like yeah. that? Uh, so we'll just, uh, just make sure you bring, um, I think the only thing you need is just a yeah, passport. They need your passport. And then, you know, then naturally the, the, the um, currency. And talking about currency, uh, make sure you bring your passport and your money tomorrow. That way you can exchange more money. And I'll just recommend let's get it for a few days. And I think once we get to Zanzibar, uh, we should be able to find somewhere like right there. I don't remember if it was if they had a money change in the, the terminal or was it like in Stone Town close by. It's Stone Town. Stone Town. Yeah. The best way we'll change it is Stone Town, and uh, for a few years we ne never had a bureau change where you can quickly change your money. But now the new system is coming back. Can you hear me back there? It's hard to hear. Okay. Um, yeah, we're talking about we're talking about uh, changing our money and saying that we have more options now. So we're gonna go so this every few days get you some money, but try to make sure you get enough for a few days. Um, but I know, so, I know I know I know tomorrow we can do it. A Sunday will be a little bit difficult because you know you may have one stop, and then Monday you, you know, Monday will be open because you're, you're right there by the hotel and you can get your you, you can get your money and everything. And that's actually what I would even recommend this uh, that way you're just ahead of the game because. We don't want to get in a situation where we're moving and we, you know, and people need money to do certain things. And if you do, what we can always do is we can have you know other. Sometimes I have extra money and I'll just say you know let me just you can just use this and I'll get it back for me or just, or just I'll change it for you myself and things like that. But I just want to make sure everybody have all of their money and everything that they need to get uh, to you know, do what you need to do. And anyone need to go to ATMs and things like that. We can do that. ATMs are going to give you local currency, and I don't know if your bank charges or not, or if the bank is going to block your card if you didn't put up a travel notice. So all those things you have to think about. But it's not the end of the day. If it does happen, you just call your bank. Uh, we just have to get your local phone to call and things like that. So those are some of the things that I uh, just want to share. And just want everybody just to just be ready. Uh, make sure you get good rest. Make sure you eat some you know, nice, beautiful breakfast. Uh, Breakfast is incredible at Kibo Palace. Uh, go ahead. Um, you said we're wearing our t-shirts. I uh, appreciate you. Thank you for the reminder. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we have the um, African for Africans t-shirt. Uh, it's blue, so just uh, do your best to connect and things like that. Uh, they didn't work out the colors as I needed them to work out the colors. So uh, The red does not look like cherry red, and the green does not. Uh, it's a different kind of green. Uh, so it's um, all of these shirts are very unique as they're all different from all the ones we've made, I don't think I've ever, we ever have made any ones and just reproduce them. We just usually change the colors up. So some, some colors look more vibrant than things. But the main thing is just the fact that it's, say, Africa for the Africans. But, um, and it's, so we wear those tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. And your bag. And it's in your bag along with your book, your pen, and those travel packages. And that's what I'm talking about, competing and trying to do things at a high level. You know, we give you a, 
digital and a printed tour book. Family, this is not just a small book. This is a this is a 60-page book. But and then we have a tour bag, that we, pens and things like that. And it's just to show the level of just love and also just and the tips. Push the beautiful word of Africa for the Africans. I mean, it's just it's not empowering. You know, we have a continent that's so beautiful, but. We don't control our own resources and control our own system of how things are done. So I just really appreciate what Marcus Garvey did. He was just way ahead of his time. Um, Marcus Garvey, Marcus Delaney, the, the two that really just started pushing the words Africa for Africans. That has so much symbolic meaning of what we're doing today. Uh, so uh, you know, we're going to wear the shirts and show some love. Um, and hopefully, you know, when you see some of your cousins, hopefully they're not mad at any of you guys. But you know, just tell them it's all good. Tell them they should think about that too. And, and, and you know, and as much as they have taken, give back. And as a matter of fact, that's what we always talk about. Everyone should give back to Africa, especially the folks that have taken a lot. And then those of us that were stolen and coming back, you know, we're just doing our natural connection. Mm -hmm. uh, so I always appreciate our brothers and sisters that host us in the country. And um, looking forward to this. Everybody have a wonderful time. I just wonder if anybody have any more questions. Yeah. Go ahead. Are we doing the uh, part of the school? The uh, donations stuff? Tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow my, uh, my being, uh, Eugene. Can we can we put it off tomorrow, or do we need to arrange it for Monday? All right, cool. So we're, we're gonna arrange it. We, we can just arrange it for Monday as a quick um, because the kids are visit um, and things like that. So we're gonna work out the adjustment from that. Oh no, it's just one school. It's, it's one school, we, and and things may change in the morning because you know we're trying to see if we can arrange something with the school. Um, but it, if anything, it's, it's fine. That's why we have the three days. The three days was meant to this, and we needed to adjust and bounce things around. Yeah. So we are good. But uh, make sure that um, you have your school supplies and things ready for tomorrow. And then if we don't work that out, uh, what we do, we'll still have it uh, to where we can just work it out Monday. The tips. Yeah. What about the tips? Yeah. Do, do, uh, that, tips? do it. I mean, can you tell them more about the tips or? Yeah. Oh uh, no, we collected group tips and we see the group tips and okay. share it around the country the whole time we did doing from people helping us with things to our staff and crew as okay. like best as we can. And anybody wanted us to give additional tips and show love to certain people directly, it's all good. Uh, we just use the minimum number of 50 verses what okay. other people use and then just have something to work with. And then we put a little something on, on top of it also. Um, and just work it out and spread it around. And it usually works out good. So it seems like everybody is ready to get to the hotel. A nice, luxurious Kibo Palace Hotel. Beautiful. And just relax and just enjoy your luxury accommodations. And, uh, let, and then for those who are trooping and they just want to get some fresh air, which I recommend some people get some fresh air because we've been traveling so long, roll with me. Uh, just do a quick switch if you can. And we're just gonna. Well, I can't sit on a recording call. <laughs> no, we're our video. But yeah, family, for those who are watching, um, you know, whatever we do at night is just what we do at night. Uh, we can't really <laughs> record and share any information, and it's you know it's just socializing. Uh, everything is socializing and networking. So uh, you know, nightlife is usually just meant for us to connect together <laughs> and socialize because most of the time when we're doing the tour during the daytime, you know, our tour guide is sharing very important information, and we you know we're listening and getting all that education, so we don't ever get a chance to connect until like dinner and nighttime. So once we get to the hotel, you know, I'll just, for the people who need to know, I'll just give you the secret location and we run it. We run it. All right. Everybody else, honestly, and family, just get some rest. <laughs> get, the police should be knocking at you during the morning. <laughs> get some sleep. <laughs> anyway, I think I've shared enough. Uh, I don't want to, um, if anybody has any more questions for any of us, uh, we're almost at the hotel. I want to take part of it. Any, uh, or anyone want to share anything? Uh, right now, will we be able to get something to eat? That's what you said. Yeah, yeah. To eat? Yeah. I mean, good still, luck. Good luck. Wow. It's, uh, it's not, um, well, what, what I can do, there's a few, there's a few night spots that are open. Uh, the night spot that we went to last time, uh, people actually were actually working. So we'll get it from there. He said they're uh, waiting think, for us. Yeah, he said you get. Yeah, they have reservations. Just waiting for us. There should be a snack menu for you. Oh, they have menu. Snack menu that you can order like a room service. Some chips. Oh, you can order room service. So yeah, so I guess you can just order something if you just want something made room service. Okay. That's cool. And remember, room service they may charge you. 
Uh, when I'm down, for the room service, if you order something as a room service, they will may charge you. I'm not very sure, but mm -hmm. just get ready of it. Okay. And uh, the mode of payment, you can pay by using dollars, cash. You can use your credit card. And also you can pay by using Tanzanian shilling. Shilling. You change your money into shilling. Our money, our currency is known as Tanzanian shilling. So if you have changed enough that you can spend it. Um, when you pay at the reception by using your credit card, make sure that you get it back. Because if you rush, <laughs> if you rush and like leave it behind, it will put you in a situation that you will not be happy. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen so, it happen several times. So please, it didn't happen. before you pick the receipt, pick your credit card first. <laughs> put it in place. And I, I have experience of people like collecting everything and leaving because they will insert the credit card in the machine to get the payment. And when the receptionist is doing the other things to, get, to hand you over the, the receipt, it's a human. It's not like somebody's wanting to, wanting to keep your credit card, but you forgot it, and it will be there when you come back. You'll have a lot of questions. It's safe. It's like this, like that. So please, in terms of any payment, make sure that your credit card is safe. Not only credit card, also your money. You can, you can leave everything somewhere, but do not leave your passport. Mm -hmm. Do not leave your money. Mm -hmm credit cards because we work hard in our lives to get money and when you have the money it's in your pocket your body and your brain is thinking of the money in your pocket if it's out of your pocket you have a problem so please you can uh, make sure that where you put your passport is where you remember mm -hmm. because I have been traveling for since 2001, I have been guiding the groups and the individuals. People can come here and hide the passport where they don't see it, and then it's a big problem because we don't know where the passport is, and the person doesn't remember where the passport is, and then it's 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 a little bit difficult. Otherwise, put hide your passport where you think it's safe and record it in your phone. If you don't see it, you go to your phone. Ah, okay, my passport is the last thing under my bag. It's my passport. So you go and dig it out, and you're happy. Yeah, or just, you know, just yeah, you know, keep it simple. Find one on. one part on your bag that you, you can lock and put all your your confidential stuff in there, the money and everything. And just keep it, you know, keep the bag locked. And then also saves your video, right? Uh, saves the things. Yeah. Uh, so you can you, you can use that option also. And if you put things in the safe, some, sure you know that sometimes <laughs> you forgot the password. <laughs> Do not worry because the manager of the hotel is the only person who will have the master key to open your your your, your, your safe box. So sometimes people like panic after after like going back to your room and you don't remember the, the, the password or the number you put. Don't panic. You can talk to Bomani. Yeah, contact the manager and the manager will come into your room with your presence to open the safe box. Yeah, done that done that before, you know. Uh, you know, mine broke mine broke one day, my, my safe is really broke. Like you know, like you can't even punch no numbers in there no more. And I was like, yo, all my stuff is in there. <laughs> you see how fast I ran downstairs. And it came up and opened it up. So so perfect family. So there's um, I don't think there's nothing that we uh, not gonna be able to fix, but you know, the only thing we can't fix is if you lost your exclusion password. So let's keep that in mind uh, and things like that. And I have to keep up in mind also. So I do the same sequence and things. But our family, um, we're almost there, so the journey continues. So see everybody later on or in the morning.